Pro plugin often is known to be one of the best software that gives you the film look, including the film stock such as some of the Kodak or Fuji and kind of you name it. However, it takes a lot of resources and every update generally, I've been reading to some complaints in the internet, if you look at it, that it's not working properly, the image glitching or you know uh, the other so other problems such as it just the whole software just start freeze uh, freezing so you know that's a common problem even with the for example i use uh, davinci resolve studio and i generally are very speculative about the updating to the newest um, update because the update if you look at the history of this software, that it sometimes often crashes at the beginning, then they have to send some patches and uh, fix the fix the bugs. And they also themselves that gives you advice to not to upgrade immediately if you're in a project. Now, it's the same history with the Dehancer Pro. So how to fix that problem? The problem to fix is simple. You can actually go to i'm going to give the i'm going to give you the link in the description below but it says uh, the blog.dehancer.com and version history or you can just click version history and you can go to the click at the legacy version of mac os windows or linux for me is the windows and they, it will take you to this list of it and i recommend you to download the old version of the uh, dehancer pro in order to just uh, finish your project and then uh, wait until your newest version working properly and then you can come in the, in the meantime you can spend your time communicating with the customer service of the dehancer but my point is that i personally at this very moment just to continue with my project i use the older version and the biggest question is that are the old uh, versions good they are good the fundamental thing about the film looks are film uh, the film grain bloom uh, uh give me hang on a second i'm going to tell you the name instead of just imagining because it's just right in front of my eyes the color you know the, on the all the color head the yellow blue magenta green the film grain saturation halation and bloom uh maybe vignette and film bread but you know film bread is much more logical than the vignette Generally, those fundamental things are, 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 are the one that you need in order to have film look. And those generally does not change. Obviously, you have more options in the newest, newest, uh, newest versions, and then you have plenty of other film profiles. So I understand that you, if you need them, I get it. But the older version, uh, the reason why the Dehancer Pro became Dehancer Pro, known to everybody and everyone else are using it. So to summarize this short video is that I recommend you to go to that website, their blog website official, and then download the legacy version and move on with your projects and wait till if the current versions started to work better again. Well, I hope this helped. Look after yourself and bye-bye.